at the beginning of this year, I mentioned wanting to do more hunts that are just kind of for the sake of going out and hunting. No grinds, no specific species to go after, and just kind of see if we can have any luck. And today, this is going to be one of those hunts. We're out here on Silver Ridge Peaks Multiplayer. We've completed both of our recent grinds in different ways. The Black Bear, we just had one and I didn't know it, and the Melanistic Mountain Goat we got in Multiplayer a month or so ago. So we're just going to enjoy our time out here on one of my favorite maps. And we'll see if we can end up with anything for the trophy launch. And it didn't take long. Pretty good looking mule deer out there, just a level 4. And not the max weight range. There are so many pronghorn out here. And this is one of the cool things about Silver Ridge Peaks. You don't have to hunt in like the ideal times. Normally, a lot of maps, if you want to see a bunch of animals, you want to hunt the drink times. But you see so many animals feeding that it actually is quite fun just to generally hunt really whatever time the game happens to be. Now, we've got a pretty interesting loadout. We're carrying the 270 Huntsman, and I could not tell you the last time I fired this weapon. Maybe for like a beginner guide or something. I can't imagine when it would have been. I wanted to get a heart shot when he had his head up. We could have alerted him. It's going to be a lung, and it's going to bring him down. And much like we saw, I think it was on Rancho with the 270 Warden, 270 is a little underpowered for Mule Deer, but this is a perfect opportunity to introduce our loadout, which I think is going to be pretty cool. We've got the 270 Huntsman, of course. We have the 470 Apex, and we have the 22H. Silver Ridge Peaks allows for a lot of different loadout combinations, but you'll notice all three of these weapons are like the synthetic black stock. I just imagine like going to a place like this and you've got your, you know, your guns in your truck and whatever. They all kind of like match in this way. I just think it would be a pretty cool set of weapons, so it'd be nice to, to get something neat with one or maybe all of these. And so not only is this our first Mule Deer down of the hunt, it is our first 270 Huntsman kill in probably years. Like I said, I, I don't know the last time I fired this thing. Anytime I grab a 270, it's the Stradivarius or the Warden, so kind of cool to use this. I'm sure back in the early days of Call of the Wild, it's a weapon that we would have used a fair amount. I do think the challenge of a hunt like this is to actually get to use all the weapons that we have. I guess that and the fact that the 270 is kind of our medium game weapon, we may struggle to get things like Rocky Mountain Elk or Black Bear. I mean, we'll be able to bring them down, but it is going to require a lot of tracking without a very precise shot. And I really do want to make sure we get at least, say, two shots out of the 470 and the 22H, so Really, that just means two bison and two turkey. And the one difficult part with the turkeys is that there are so many light browns running around now, and I still am of the opinion that that should probably be tweaked. I've got a level three light brown on my map at the moment, and I just kind of refuse to shoot it. I'm waiting to see if there are going to be any tweaks. Speaking of turkeys, there's a level three just running right to us. What on earth? <laughs> what timing? That was incredible. All right. Three gobblers just came running out of the trees. They must have been resting down in there. Two kind of average size level twos. And then our three. And that 22H just did a fantastic job of bringing it down quickly. And I continue to hope for a Melanistic Gobbler eventually. I don't know how likely that is, especially with the fact that we're not really grinding for one. But when I saw like that darker underside of the fan, I thought maybe we had gotten lucky. But the wings can confirm that that was not the case. A nice 4.7 though. I don't know if that'll make the lodge. We had one that was max weight. It was one of our first diamond turkeys when Silver Ridge Peaks came out. That's close to max weight. 11 kg is the max. It'll depend on the score and what we have displayed, but that was actually a good one. Rarely do we ever shoot a level 3 turkey and see anything but that 4.6. That is the norm, but that's pretty cool. The opportunity has finally arisen to uh, try to take a Rocky Mountain Elk Bull with the 270, and it was bound to happen. As we get into the later stages of the day on SRP, Elk start to drink, Black Bear going to start to be out more, and we are going to start to see some more mountain lions too, but just because he was packed in there, I wanted to alert him. If we can, a heart shot would save us so much time. I think we got it. I mean, if that doesn't display just how underpowered the 270 is on an elk. I don't know what else would. Not only did he run for a little bit, 
and you know we saw the hell slowly dropping there wasn't even an immediate like kind of drop from the 75 to 100 to 50 to 75 on the health percentage usually like let's say you shoot a i don't know a moose with a slightly underpowered caliber you would kind of start to see the health go immediately that took just a moment it was straight hard shot 387 light gray and i mean that's basically the biggest thing that we'll shoot with the 270 today so that's kind of cool We've got another decent gobbler out there i mean there's just elk everywhere i think a mountain lion over on that side might have sent another herd running I still don't understand the drop of the 22H that well. I usually just kind of hope for the best. So if we can get into 200 before it kind of trots into the trees, we might try it. I think as long as we can get the lead right, because he's still kind of trotting. Actually, he's just going to stop right there and feed. We should be all set. Shot distance was about 170. I mean, that is the, the contrast, though. The one earlier... I believe we long shot at the level 3. Quite honestly, I didn't look where we hit it, but it went down very quickly. If you don't get that vital hit, even with the soft point rounds in the 22 age, the turkeys take quite some time to actually go down, and there's evidently going to be quite a change to the 22 age in the upcoming update, so that'll be interesting to see what the difference is. But for the moment, that's kind of what to expect out of a what I'm going to assume is a flesh hit. A flesh hit indeed. It must have been getting ready to... How on earth? I've never seen that, like, pose for a turkey before. I assume it's maybe about to feed or... I don't know what. I don't think that's where the shot should have been. Like, it doesn't make any sense that it would have been that high regardless. But, uh... Yeah, it makes a lot of sense that it took a long time to die considering it doesn't show that we hit it. Man, that's pretty cool to see. Now we've got our diamond black fur type black bear only because, and it was actually in this spot, the max score diamond that we shot, I think sometime in 2020, was at the time the common fur type, but is now the black fur type. And I, I still don't know how I had missed that when I was looking in the trophy lodge because I thought it was the dark fur type, but either way, that is the biggest black fur type black bear we've seen since the change. We can get him to stay standing up for just a second. Using the 270, again, I just, I prefer to try to take those hard shots, just minimize the tracking time. Although in that instance, if we just took a lung shot, as long as it took to get that hard shot opportunity, it may have saved us time in the long run. But either way, got him down. And like I said, it's actually cool to see a good size one live and walking around. I still, I don't see any good reason to continue to grind because... We have a max board that's the black fur type now. Then again, if we ever do find a black fur type diamond, we may replace the one we have just because it's always nice for what you shoot at the time to be reflected in the trophy lodge. That's kind of the unfortunate thing with the change. Like, it was common back in 2020, now it's referred to as black and it looks different. So, we'll kind of see how it goes, but like I said, I don't really intend to grind for something that we do already have a max score of. That's a big level three elk might try to get it again we need to try to get a hard shot but that looks good i don't even think it has a chance of gold though apparently he's just gonna feed right there i wouldn't mind when he actually goes to feed going for a next shot here because i think there may be a chance that we could end up with more of an insta drop or i guess we just missed the neck bone I'm kind of surprised it felt like that would have been dead on. Well then, we may need a follow-up and probably one long in the distance, but we have room. That's going to be tough, and especially if we do make a like a single lung follow-up here. He's going to run for a while. We don't even have the 22 LR to just kind of shoot near him and alert him. This might be interesting. He's kind of broadside out there now. Let's see if we can get a shot in the lung. That should be about right. I'm really intrigued, more so than to figure out what this guy should score. I want to know where that first shot impacted, because it, to me, still looked good. That is a lung shot. He's going to run for forever, 
and evidence of why I wanted to go for the heart shot earlier or that next shot, but we'll go and get him. It definitely took a little longer to do that than to just heart shot one and go up to it. Wow. It's not the shot placement. That is crazy. The 270 just simply lacks the penetration to reach the neck at that angle. Now, had we aimed lower, and I guess in that way, this shot placement, it could have reached, I think, some of these lower neck bones, but then that's starting to chance hitting the skull. Then our next shot, a little far back, but it probably saved us time being lung, liver, stomach, because there's no way it's reaching double lung, I wouldn't think. In the end, just a silver elk, but interesting little learning experience. When I mentioned that one of the challenges of this hunt would be to get to actually use all the weapons, what I didn't predict was just not being able to find any Plains Bison to actually hunt. I mean, I assumed mostly it would be finding quality Bison to actually take the time to stock and get into decent range for the 470. That's the first Bison I've seen the entire time. There's been a couple of tracks here and there. I normally don't track Bison because the wide range of 987 to 1200, you can get a max weight Bison and that doesn't mean that much. It could very well be a level four that's not even uh, all that special so this at least is our first 470 kill not a spectacular bison by any means but double lung there at 70 meters and the plan really from this point is to hopefully go and find one more around this lake and we're gonna be about ready to wrap up but i just can't believe the struggles that we've gone through just to locate even one i don't quite know why this bison's fleeing this way unless Maybe if the person south of us was on an ATV, that might make sense. But I am definitely going to take this opportunity. It's not a very big one. But again, it's been tough to find any bison at all. Wish we had reloaded earlier. It would have been nice to get that immediate follow-up. But it was a long shot, so we'll just take what we got there. Now, I know there were apparently some population redistribution things across a bunch of different maps, I believe, with the Mississippi update. And maybe that's the reason, because I feel like... Generally speaking, I have a decent idea of where bison should be on this map, and in a lot of cases today, we just weren't encountering them where I would have expected to, so just a 112.7, nothing even remotely special for our bison, but when it was that difficult to find any, I'm just glad we got to use the 470 today, and we got to see it performing quite well. Two shots, two lung hits, and two dead bison, and I think officially on that note, we're going to go back to the trophy lodge. It's rare we do that for a turkey, but... I think this one might have just gotten a new spot. And it was officially a small upgrade. So in the trophy manager, I think we can go back and see that. He is 4.74, and the turkey that we had here in the past was 4.71. So just a nice little upgrade to our turkey room. Eventually we'll have to get a eastern that's in that 4.7 range. This was actually a level 2, but uh, I still don't think I've seen a level 3 eastern, so just kind of taking what we got. But. It's always nice to make an upgrade to the Trophy Lodge, even if it does look exactly the same. Just slowly increasing those scores and generally increasing the general quality of what's all in this lodge. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.